I want to bring you a quick update on a couple of exciting things that have happened over the last few weeks with our lion prides and even our individual lone male. Good morning everyone, welcome back to another beautiful day on Shamwari Private Game Reserve. I want to bring you a quick update on a couple of exciting things that have happened over the last few weeks with our lion prides and even our individual lone male. He's been doing really, really well. Over the last two and a half weeks I've been out a number of times with him and I've seen him successfully hunt a warthog and eland. He took down a really big eland bull by himself uh, and that is no easy feat. So he is doing exceptionally well by himself. It is quite strange that we haven't seen him move into a pride or try and take over a pride. He seems to be moving on the fringes quite a lot um, and he is in the southern part of the game reserve at the moment but he, he, he's met up with the lions numerous times uh, and, and there's this kind of nose to nose interaction where they, they lie there sometimes 10, 15 meters apart from one another just staring at each other but nothing more than that so it's really, really interesting. I think one of the other interesting byproducts of what's happened by this uh, nomadic male spending more and more time in the south is what we thought would have happened was the dominant southern male by this stage should have kicked out uh, the young male lion within his pride. It's a, it's a normal thing that happens as young males get to about two and a half to three years of age. They get pushed out of the pride and they, they become nomadic males themselves, uh, either forming a coalition with other young males, uh, other groups of males that they come across, or their half-brothers or cousins within a pride that get kicked out together. They will then be loners until they are able to uh, establish a territory of their own uh, by either kicking out other males uh, and taking over their territory with, with prides of females. Or being dominant enough within an area to take over a, a whole group of different prides of females. We haven't seen that happening and indeed it's the opposite of that. Is what we found is a huge amount more tolerance between the male, the father, and the son. And it looks like there's a very strong possibility that there's going to be a coalition forming between the father and the son. It's not very common that a father and son will form a coalition, although it has been documented on, on occasions before. What we're thinking is because this nomadic male has moved into the south, the pressure that he's putting on the dominant male in the south, as in a one-on-one -on -one competition, he's kind of weighing up his options here and thinking, well, a one-on-one, -on -one, there's a chance, there's a 50-50 chance I'm going to get thrown out here. So rather let me stack the odds in my favor and do whatever I can to get a, a, a stronger power of balance. And essentially he's basically saying he's going to let his son join in with him to defend the territory. In other words, be a, a, a lesser member of the coalition. And it's far easier for two lions to fight off one lion than it is for one lion to fight off two lions. And I think that's the angle that they're going for. Remember, at the end of the day, a lion's sole purpose, a male lion, his sole purpose is to reproduce and to defend the pride. And they'll do it any way that they can, which is why uh, males will often and preferably form coalitions. The more males within a coalition, the stronger they're going to be the more they're going to be able to hold a larger territory with more females and fight off other competition males. So I hope you've enjoyed that update on the Lions of Shamori Private Game Reserve. There's been a lot of dynamic situations happening and still a lot to happen. We're going to carry on filming, we're going to carry on following, we just need you to join. So hopefully we'll see you soon.